Howdy, Jamon Stalkaz. So as many of you probably know, we recently observed Groundhog Day. But what exactly is Groundhog Day? Well, guess what? You're in luck. Because your nights of tossing and turning and sleeplessness are over, I'm gonna tell you. But before I do, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified. Alright, so Groundhog Day is observed annually on February 2nd, and it involves, yes, a groundhog. It determines whether or not we get six more weeks of winter, or if it's an early spring. If it sees a shadow, that means six more weeks of winter, and if it doesn't, that means an early spring. It surrounds the character of Punxsutawney Phil, the most famous groundhog in the world. The epicenter of Groundhog Day is located in Punxsutawney, which is a borough in Jefferson County, Pennsylvania. What exactly is a groundhog? A groundhog is a rodent, and more specifically, it's also known as a ground squirrel, a marmot, or a gopher. It's about medium size, usually brown, and you live in burrows underground, hence the name. So what's the history of Groundhog Day? It originated from Germany, actually, and on the Christian holiday candle mass, they would actually use a badger to prognosticate the weather. That tradition, of course, was carried over by the Pennsylvania German settlers, and voila, here we are today with Groundhog Day. So what exactly is done on Groundhog Day? So what happens is that there's this tract of land called Gobbler's Knob, which is right outside of the town of Punxsutawney, and Right around uh, 3 a.m. on February 2nd, this is when the festivities begin and people gather from all around. It's just wall-to-wall -wall people and they're singing concerts and stuff like that. And then around 7.30 is when Punxsutawney Phil comes out of his burrow and we all get to see whether or not there's a shadow. The first known observance of Groundhog Day was on February 2nd, 1840. And the first historical documentation of the observance was denoted in the Punxsutawney Spirit newspaper in 1886. The following year, in 1887, is when the Punxsutawney Groundhog Club was formed, and it continues to this very day. There's actually a website called Groundhog.org, which gives all the information about Groundhog Day and Punxsutawney in general. So, are there any mentions of Groundhog Day in popular culture? Of course, a lot of people know about the 1993 film, Groundhog Day, starring Bill Murray and Andy McDowell, where Bill Murray plays a meteorologist, and is assigned to go to Punxsutawney to predict the weather. And what happens, he ends up in a pretty much a time loop. He, he wakes up and it's the same day repeated over and over. It's a pretty good movie if you haven't seen it already. Another reference to Groundhog Day would be in the Rankin Bass Christmas special, Jack Frost, where instead of Punxsutawney Phil, it's actually part of me, Pete. He's the narrator of the story. So what are the statistics behind Groundhog Day? Well, the overwhelming majority of the time, the groundhog does see a shadow, and subsequently they mean six more weeks of winter. And it's no surprise because it's early Ooh, February and it's freaking cold. <laughs> Another interesting tidbit is that the groundhog is accurate about 36 to 39 percent of the time. Do you learn anything new about Groundhog Day? Let me know in the comments below. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. This is Stalkaz. See ya!